In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this photocopy effect step by step in Photoshop. So first step, import your image, then from the layers panel, active background layer, then press Ctrl Command J to make a duplicate. And after that, right click and convert it to a smart object. Then from the menu bar, choose filter, filter gallery. Now from the sketch folder, open and choose half tone pattern and make sure that pattern type is set to line not dots then set the contrast 11 also for the size 1 you can also change this amount to get the best results based on your image resolution after that we need to add another effect do a single click on new effect layer then this time choose graphic pen then set stroke direction to right diagonal then set the stroke to 15 and set light or dark balance to 50. We need to add another new effect. So move your cursor here, do a single click and this time from the texture folder, choose grain and from its settings, change grain top from regular to horizontal. And I'm going to set intensity to 100 and leave 54 contrast and after that press OK. Alright guys, we have more steps to do, but before that, if you want this to look stronger, all you need to do, move your cursor, go to the layers panel, active your smart object, move your cursor on filter gallery, do a single click and drag and drop it right here on your image. And as you see, we made a duplicate of our filter gallery. And if you feel like it's too much strong, you can decrease its intensity, move your cursor right here, double click. And for example, I'm going to decrease it to 24, as you see, pressing OK. Now press and hold Ctrl Command Shift A to open camera raw filter. And I'm going to apply my previous setting from three dots and apply previous settings. And what did I do from the lights? increase shadows and blacks just like this and after that from the effects part increase texture and grain like this and for the last one increase detail increase sharpening to 30 and press ok now for the last step i'm gonna drag and drop my texture layer right there and from the option bar I'm gonna align it to the center like this and from the layers panel make sure that texture layer is activated and change its blending mode from normal to screen before after now make sure that the topmost layer is activated press and hold ctrl command alt shift e and what just happened we merged all the layers and copied into a new layer let's take a look at the before and after before after before after before after and that's it thank you so much for watching if it was helpful and you learned something new please do a favor thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for new upcoming videos keep supporting pages and good luck